school, the kids were getting sick there, and I heard eight kids, then I heard 10, and I've heard 30 kids. They allowed Exxon to come in there and do the testing and show all the kids. And I'm not even allowed in the class after the bell rings down the hall. Their alarms went off. They were telling them that this is what happens when the alarm goes off on their machine. We found out that it actually did go off when they were leaving the building. There is a lot of unanswered questions. There's a lot of cover-up. Our house, they've never come over to the next neighborhood, except for twice to bring us a letter. I've heard they stopped taking planes. I, we will never be able to sell our house. Who will want to live? But a, a little over a thousand feet from an oil spill. These chemicals can never be gotten up out of the ground. We have been told they're alive, they're in our home, they're in our carpet, they're in our furniture. So, what do we do? Do you know there were meetings that people from around in an area that was affected by it went to the meetings and Exxon kicked them out? Because they don't want to deal with anybody but just Starlight Drive. Nobody knocked on our door until the week after. And I told Exxon, the guy that came to the door, it's a little too late. We've already breathed it. We've had headaches, nausea. They're not risking just our lives and my grandmother's life. They're messing with my grandmother's life. Guess I'll go talk to him. You have a good day, sir. Call the news if I get arrested. I'm just doing our job. What's, what is your job? Patrol and pick. Yes, sir. Is it to harass? Yeah. It may be to a point or something like that. I'm just doing our job. What's, what is your job? Patrol and pick. Yes, sir. Is it to harass? Yeah. It may be to a point or something like that. I'm just doing our job. What's, what is your job? Patrol and pick. Yes, sir. Is it to harass? Yeah. Maybe to a point or something like that.